If you follow the world of mobile reality shows, you would know that the hit show American Chopper is certainly one of the most popular car reality shows in recent times. The show has basically everything that a hit car reality show needs to succeed. It has amazing cars, an extraordinary cast, enigmatic hosts like Paul Tuttle Sr. and his son Tuttle Jr., and truckloads of drama. In fact, some people call it keeping up with the Kardashians. Yes, that's right, Kardashian with a C, not K. Okay. Maybe we just made that name up on the spot, but you have got to admit that it does go very well with the entire theme of the show. Ever since Paul Tuttle Jr. left the show back in 2009 and then came back in 2010 and then left in 2012 and then came back in 2018 and then left again. Anyway, you get my point. Paul Jr. has been very on and off with the show, and it's probably right that people wonder what has now happened to him. So what has indeed happened to Paul Tuttle Jr. since his last television appearance? While we would have loved to tell you something exciting about what Paul Tuttle is doing right now, but the truth is that Paul is not really doing anything. Ever since his last episode of American Choppers, Paul has continued to do what he's always done, work. A cursory glance through his Instagram page would immediately reveal two things. The first is that Paul is in great health. We don't think he's ever felt better, as all his videos show him clearly having the time of his life. The second thing that's immediately obvious is that Paul is still working at building choppers. Now and then, he posts videos and pictures of extraordinary choppers that he just finished working on. When one looks at the pictures and videos of this car, one gets the idea that many of these choppers would have featured on American Choppers, assuming things worked well between Paul Tuttle Jr. and his father. Of course, things did work well for Paul Tuttle and his father for a while. They were pretty much the most popular father-son duo on television for the better part of a decade. Aside from that, their relationship made both of them extremely rich. Right now, the younger Tuttle is worth around $2 million. According to a lot of sources, even that estimate is a massive understatement as Tuttle Jr. is involved in a lot of businesses and their nature means that his net worth can swing massively in either way. In any case, $2 million may not be a lot of money in Hollywood terms, but it's certainly a lot more than the net worth of probably 99% of Chopper make. Most of Tuttle Jr.'s wealth comes from the fee the network the show airs on pay. A sizable chunk of his wealth also comes from a significant shareholder of the Garage Orange County Choppers. The interesting thing about Paul Tuttle's finances is that he could have been a lot richer than he is now if he had not fallen out with his father and inadvertently killed the goose that laid the golden eggs for their family. In the early days when American Chopper first hit the screens on the Discovery Channel, both Paul Tuttle Sr. and Jr. were really close. They were probably the best father-son duo on television, and their relationship generated enough drama to power the first seasons of the show. After a while, people stopped watching the show because of the Choppers, they started watching it for the drama. What'd you do on this bike? What are you talking about? Just what I said. Then did Don't we equally on work bike. on this bike? Yeah, you, listen. Wait a minute. Did uh, we listen. equally work on this bike? Every time I come out here, Vinny's doing a job and you're holding his hand. Me what and him split everything. We started yesterday. Get your hands dirty for a change. Do some welding and grinding instead of watching everybody else do it. You, you got an awfully nice house for what I did. You got an awfully nice house for what I did. But as the show progressed, the drama between father and son escalated to uncontrollable heights. It got to a point where father and son really didn't need a reason to fight anymore. It was just naturally occurring. As time went on, each fight was more serious than the last. At this point, it was clear that both men would soon get into a huge fight that could have serious ramifications for the future of the show. This eventual outcome was obvious to the people who watched American Choppers. However, Paul Tuttle Sr. and Paul Tuttle Jr. didn't seem to care. All they cared about was getting into arguments with one another on television and generating enough drama to keep the show going. However, everything came to a head in the fifth season of the show which aired in 2008. In one of the episodes, Paul Sr. got very angry with his son's Demeter and got into a huge fight with him. And don't bother coming in tomorrow because you're permanent. The fight was so intense that Paul Sr. eventually threw a chair at his son and immediately sacked him from the Orange County Choppers. While that scene made great television, it didn't really go down that well in reality. The reason is simple. While Paul Sr. had a majority share of the Orange County Choppers, his son held about 20% of the company's equity. As such, it was near impossible for Paul Sr. to just fire him at will. 
immediately Paul Jr. got fired. He spoke to a few lawyers and sued his father. But that wasn't the only legal trouble that was about to hit the Orange County Choppers. While Paul Sr. can theoretically fire any of his employees at the Orange County Choppers, he had to respect the contract he had with TLC, which was the network that aired the American Choppers. And the contract he had with TLC said that his son Paul Tuttle Jr. also had to be a part of the filling. However, since Paul Sr. had fired his son, he could no longer fulfill that part of the contract. TLC did not take kindly to this and immediately hit Paul with a default notice. This meant that Paul Sr. was basically fighting a battle on two fronts. The first front was his son suing him for being fired, and the second was the network his show was on suing him for breach of contract. While all these were going on, TLC decided to put brakes on the show. When the court cases continued to go on unresolved, the brakes on the show were made permanent. The decision was final. There would not be a new season of the Orange County Choppers, but even that decision was somewhat premature. After a lot of court dates, Paul Jr. and Sr. eventually reached an agreement in court settlements. It was not the best deal for both parties, but it allowed them to go their separate ways. One would think that this episode would put an end to the saga of the Tuttles, but it wasn't. In fact, their saga was only just beginning. In 2010, after the expiration of his non-compete clause, Tuttle Jr. decided to set up his own motorcycle design business. Once TLC learned that Tuttle Jr. was building his establishment, the company came back in. At this point, the company knew that he and his father could not work together any longer since they had very different personalities and cared about very different things. However, TLC believed that a new arrangement would work. The new genius arrangement, of course, didn't allow son and father to work together. Instead, it made them competitors, which was obviously going to make them get into fewer fights. This new show was a spinoff of the original American Choppers and was called American Chopper Senior vs. Junior. At first, the show started well. There was enough hype for it, and the people really wanted to see it. The beginning of the show made it look like both father and son had reconciled and were now okay. While we aren't sure whether they had reconciled at this point, what we can say with absolute certainty is that if they had reconciled, it wasn't a very good one. Because very soon, both father and son were at one another's throat again. This made the series short-lived, and just two years after it had been greenlit, it was shut down again. Somehow, instead of repairing the rift between both men, the show had made it even worse. After the show was shut down, father and son refused to speak to one another for about four years. So are Paul Tuttle Sr. and Jr. on speaking terms? Thankfully, yes. It took a long time, but both men decided to settle down and hear one another out. According to Tuttle Jr., the main cause of the fights he had with his father was their difference in personality, not hatred or bitterness. He says that now that they understood themselves, they have laid down some ground rules for one another. And that ground rule has but one instruction, do not work with one another. Of course, this does not mean work in terms of cooperation, it means work in terms of an actual job. While both men have agreed to collaborate on special occasions, they have decided that they will now be avoiding working together for any long period to preserve their relationship. This does not mean that there will be no fights in their relationship, it only means that there will be fewer avenues to fight, and both men can be rest assured that they would not have to drag the other to court. Perhaps Paul Tuttle Sr. and Paul Tuttle Jr. should have tried this a long while ago.